Hello, welcome back to the junk pile. Uh, I'm in my my toy repair room right now. Toy collection, toy repair, but just trying to get motivated to make another video for this channel. Um, how have you been? It's been a while. Hello to everybody new. Um, what am I getting at here? <laughs> uh, so I just wanted to make a video for this channel. Um, I have like seven different YouTube channels and I can't ever decide on what I want to be when I grow up. So this is what I do. I jump back and forth and do different things. But, uh, I wanted to make some use make use of some of this steel I have laying around. Now this is something that my son brought home and I believe this was some kind of lawn furniture or something. And it's been sitting around and I didn't I didn't really want to take it to the scrap yard. I, did, I mean I can get money for it, but you know I, I collect this scrap and I take it up there and it's it's hardly hardly anything for uh, scrap steel but uh, I mean if you get enough of it it's worth it I just don't like going to the scrap yard all the time and I like finding uses for discarded materials so I, I've been taking a lot of material like this uh, and putting a primitive rustic spin on it this one's a little bit cleaner than what I, I've been messing with uh, <clears throat> and I found this is for, for this thin sheet metal one of these um, cutters pipe cutters is the best tool for it this one I actually left outside I was working on my van <laughs> and uh, I lost it outside and it was completely rusted I had to soak it in some vinegar to get it loosened up and that trick works great I'm so glad uh, for all you guys that post those videos about that vinegar it's really opened my eyes up to uh, some things and this wheel was frozen or maybe no these wheels are still frozen i haven't got those yet but i it's been cutting the pipe but it slides around on that one but um for this rough primitive stuff it doesn't really matter i can really get creative with uh, the material and showcase some of its imperfections but um yeah, so uh, let me get out into the shop and move some stuff around and put something together out of this junk and see if we can make something to list on my Etsy channel or my, my Etsy channel, my Etsy page. You know, you know what I mean. Uh, and hopefully I'll make something fun today. I'm just fidgeting now. Moving on. <laughs> I didn't mention it, but I'm going to try to make a wind chime. I've been making several wind chimes. And uh, yeah, that's what I want to try to make. This is the right material for it also. There it goes. It's just like magic. No, I know that there's certain lengths and things like that that make a desirable tone, but uh, I'm not really going to concern myself with that right now. I think it'll sound pleasant nonetheless. 
If not, we'll try it again. I don't want this one as long as that one. I don't really want less than half either though, I don't think. Whoops. I still ended up cutting out the same size. <laughs> there, I fixed it now. It's hard to know the tone until you uh, string it. It worked out pretty good. I'm just going to use this jute string, jute twine, whatever you call it. You can find this at the dollar store, like a dollar general or something. The dollar gentral. Uh, and uh, I've used this outside and it holds together for a long time. So, start hanging from there. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a loop to hang it while I'm working. And then I might add a washer or something later. This design might change two or three times before it's done. I was going to use this uh, and uh, just sand it down and let it rust. Uh, but I don't feel like waiting for that and these this pipe is already kind of a rust color so if it ever does rust or doesn't it's uh, you know it's the same same shade as rust and that's what I'm going for I'm fascinated with uh, well I don't know fascinated I I enjoy rust I enjoy texture and character so uh, I think I'm gonna go with this old can. I've, I've made some can wind chimes or wind bells before. This one might not be ideal. That'd be okay. Uh, it already has some rust started on it and I think the shape will be good for what I'm going for. So I'm gonna drill a hole there and uh, holes for the bells around and we'll take it from there. I don't know why I'm explaining everything today. I said I wasn't gonna talk in my videos. I was gonna to try to make them more accessible to everybody else. Uh, I, I just can't decide on one format. I'm always changing. So maybe this is beneficial to someone. <laughs> The lift mechanism for my drill press is broken, so uh, I'm just gonna do this with the cordless drill. It's no big deal. This is easy stuff for the cordless. You can do this whole thing with a cordless, I guess, if you're following along at home.
Yeah, walk. Walk. Walk drill bit. We'll find a center somewhere. That looks like center. <laughs> So uh, we have four bells. So I guess we need four holes. I'll try to do those right across from each other. We'll just we'll just visualize. Get it approximate. Approximate is fun. And same thing for the other side. This is a junk drawer of different everything junk. So uh, I want to find a couple of pieces to separate and I can't think of what the name is. What is the clinker in the bell? <laughs> let's, let's, let's call it a clinker. Uh, I want something kind of heavy. I might not find it in here, but I'm going to put something in the can also. Um, to uh, separate the string from the can. And of course I'll have to file these holes so that they don't cut into the string. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'll show you when I find it. I think it's a toss up between this rubber plug, whatever it is, and this lug nut. And uh, I can probably find another use for this lug nut, like putting, putting it on a car. So I'm gonna go with this because I don't know what it's for and I wanna use it up. And uh, so I'm going to tie my string into that and let it go through. So with where the string doesn't pull through the center, it just has this to uh, hold it in there. Okay. Well, I filed the holes down a little bit, knocking some of the burrs off. That one still needs a little work. I had to get back to that. Uh, but don't do like I do and start tying your centerpiece in before you put the can on because this has to go over and I'm too close. But put the can on then put your center piece in. I mean you can, you can tie it in a knot in there if you want. And there it is. I've got a good length of string to uh, put my clinker on, but I'm going to tie the bells on first and get them situated and level and uh, take it from there. Try to find some embellishments along the way. Okay, this is why you listen to the professionals and you don't just wing it. I've got a good tone. Well, I did have. On the longer ones, these shorter ones. So uh, I think I need to make some longer bells. Uh, and that's why I just roughly tied these on here to try it out and see what was going to happen. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to make some longer 
bells and rearrange it and see what my sound sounds like then. Okay, for a little while there I forgot that I was uh, filming. <laughs> but I've got, I've got some longer uh, bells tied up here and they sound a little better. So now I just need to find a, a clinker and uh, probably something just a little bit shy of uh, one to two inches around so it fits in here and isn't too far away and then we'll have to get a, a wind catcher down here to help move it around. Um, dig around in the junk and see what I can find. I, I think I'm happy with this arrangement. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the uh, excess string. I save all that and reuse it too. And uh, take it from there. I found this uh, sink stopper. This came out of the trash. It was uh, with a, an, a garbage disposal that I fished out of a dumpster. And uh, I think it's about the right size and it lends some contrast. Probably on it lower. Probably sound different once it's tied in here. Uh, I might add a, a nut at the bottom for some weight or something. Uh, and then I'll find some more embellishments that kind of resemble that stainless steel look. Well, I've got that there now. Uh, put a little bead on the top and uh, add a little weight by using part of the uh, messed up pipe. Seems like it's uh, going to work pretty good. I'll have to add on to my string, but now for the top, I've got this old uh, faucet handle. Yeah, I got this old faucet handle. <laughs> So this should come out of it and uh, I think that'll make a good topper on the top put it on the top here and put some beads on it I guess I could use this too I could just slide that over that'll add to it a little bit maybe yeah I'll work on it and see what happens Right, here it is all together. Went ahead and put that on the top with a couple of beads in it. I got a little uh, plastic washer out of the junk bin to hang it up on. Of course, there's our can, our jute string, and uh, for the uh, wind catcher, I just use an old paint lid. My battery's going dead now. I just wanted to get a final final shot of it. But I like it. And uh, I hope you do too. If you make one like it, I hope you share it with me. You can find me on Instagram under the same name. Now, I'm posting some of these on my Etsy page of the same name also if, if you don't want to make your own. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you had anything to add, let me know. Live free and do no harm. See you next time.